You know a game is good when you spend some time of your workday thinking about playing it, getting back into it. We're not even all that far along in the potential history. Only 216 years, but boy, what 216 years it has been. Oh, what is this? Flanders? Small little thing here. They've broken free somehow. Interesting. Seems to be some revolt that is partially in our lands. But doesn't that look nice? France. All big and strong. Why is this up there also France? Oh well. Who knows? Still waiting for the threat to decay. What we're getting in places now. The defensive pacts are almost small enough to go back to war. I say almost because I'd rather try and prevent them just popping up again. Especially, all well, the pagans are not all that difficult, but let's have it deteriorate to about 10-15% or something before we go out. Oh no. My poor, poor cat. Could lose greedy. Ah, uh, let's let's bury it in the, in the garden where I'd love to play. It does a great service. We can switch away from family focus now as we are getting older and we're still pretty hurt. So let's go hunting for the rest of our life. Might be a little bit premature. But that's okay. We don't need the family focus currently. Our castle town has been built on here, the first level. So now we go for the castle walls, which give us access to the second level castle town. Increasing our monetary input. We haven't had a tributary in a while. Maybe we go for the Scandinavians. Ugh, yeah. Check our factions for a moment. Oh, well, not even that weak. They're not great, but... Also not super strong. How's Christianity faring? Well enough. Oh! Look at here. We have a holy site in Kent. That is why this is so white. The holy site. Does it tell us which it is? No, it doesn't. It just says there is a holy site. Court chaplain has left the building. Get a loyalist up in here. So we have at least one friend at court. And set him to research cultural attack as well. We want to upgrade this. To get on a better level. Since we now have two castles here. Providing income and troops for us.
So how is our succession looking? Did I not decide on a... Or did it just break again? For no apparent reason. Uh, we'll check it out once he's older. Doing some sort of plot. Oh. He likes us well enough. We don't enjoy him all too well. Not a matrilineal marriage. More folk prospers. Right, let's check those acts. My kinswoman. Let's get her a matrilineal marriage. She's not all that great. Oh, she means she's not nothing special beside her bloodline. Oh, that's okay. Focus her on this. What? There's still people joining the pact against us? Ah. Uh. Right, okay. So... <sighs> We are only over 5% threatening. Where's that revolt? There. So let's the French have to deal with it. And the Asturiasians, Asturiasians, Astrusiasians. As Austrasians? Austrasians, I believe, is, is the right word there. And let's them deal with it. Uh, but they do get good commanders for this. Ooh, we even have some special units here. Not archers. Not too shabby. Enjoy the battle, lads. Make Alba proud. Army stood down. Revolt vanished. So, we're looking at the defensive pact. And uh, since we're below 50%, only the religious group of the defensive pact we're attacking is going to join, not all of them against us. So if we attack, for example, the Muslims, there will be less fighting against us. If we attack the pagans, there's going to be plenty, including a few kings there. And if we attack the Christians, there's going to be also quite a few fighting back. But Hispania... It's decently sized, and they're in a civil war right now. Which is going how? Well, the usurpers winning. So if we don't go for usurper territory... Oh, wow, yes. Oh, that's not the right guy. Oh, yeah. 16,000 troops. That's nothing. So let's see what we can do against him. See what... Goals we have worth while. Holy War for Aragon. Nah. Holy War for this. Nah, too small. Asturias, too small. Blois, too small. Upper Brittany would make it nice and tidy. Burgundy, yeah, that looks a little bit better. Castile. Interestingly enough, no one is going to join 
against him, against me on this. Too small, too small. Mercy yeah, down there. Now, Provence, no. Trier is only that. Upper Lorraine, no. Valencia, nah. Holy War for the Rhine. That's just this little piece. The Jour claim on this. Now, you know. We want to find that that gives us the most landmass for bone holdings. Nah. I think we go to Burgundy. Burgundy gives us a nice chunk of land. Let's see what we can do with Saxony before we decide on anything here. Holy War for that. No. Could go in a Holy War for this. Get our holdings back. Do we have anything better? We have a bunch of de jour claims around here. Paris Holdings, no. Well, I suppose we're going to go and get our land back from the Saxon invaders. Because while I like a united front, I enjoy a united home front even more. So, Germanic rulers might join him in the defense, so let's check this out. Mainly the Scandinavians up there. Not going to be all that much support for him. And he's already losing a war. So let's add another to the pile he can lose. For daring to defy me here. And once we take this, we're going to give up this holding here. And take this duchy as our own. I believe that sounds... Good. Right. So, let's again stand our troops. There's some holdings here, so let's start sieging those. We'll put this army together. And... Honestly, out here, we'll just... Get our kings involved. See how much they can even contribute. Some don't have all that many troops in them. The York. They're stronger than some kings. I don't know why I did that. Don't really need all that many troops. But we'll get some going down here. Already called on you. Oh, there was a bunch. Nice. Two bunches. Right, we'll siege everything at once, as is custom. And our retinue gets to show off their combat skill. Oh, that's looking good. Combine these, give them someone to lead them. Doesn't have to be the cream of the crop. 
Ah, look, he's moving around in our holdings here. Having heavy attrition as his enemy. We'll send some of these armies out at a later point to support our troops in the continent. But it might not even be necessary because he's suffering heavy, heavy attrition here. And we can just pretty freely siege whatever we want. This looks nice. Maybe someone else declares war against him too. Top of us doing this. I'm trying to see if he has some ships somewhere where he might try and send his troops over the channel. Well, I don't want to read about the Valdenesian Bible, thank you. So we're going to just keep sieging, really. If he wants to stop us, he'll have to come. Ah, there are now some ships. Which are brimming. With troops, no doubt. Let's get our retinue home. They may take care of this little nuisance arriving on our shores. Yeah. That's what I thought. We'll just keep these sitting here. As a defensive force. To intercept whatever he might try to land. The other armies are going to be fine. Sieging. He's going to send more troops. But we don't care. Well, I mean, we might. If he sent anything. Even remotely threatening. But it doesn't look like it. Is he being joined by people? No. No one cares to fight his fight. Ah, there's a ship. A new boatload of warriors, and he's joining them over here. Smart move. Let us get our retinue ready. Ah, look! He's doing the jumpy thing again. Where did he send his troops? Nowhere, it seems. Oh, calling me confused. having your holding spread like this isn't very helpful in a war because the enemy can with impunity raid you everywhere the Pope wants to send our faithful Christian men against Italy well let's let's try that again shall we maybe it'll be cancelled due to rain again need a new spy master uh, let's put someone in charge who's Decent at the job and go find us some new technology in the Fraticelli Papacy. Just keep an eye on troops, movements, and kill a few raiders while we wait around. Alright. He wishes me luck. Thank you. Thank you for accepting my calls. Let's set a beneficiary. It'll be our niece. Now it will be my darling daughter. Prince Bishop of Trent. And we'll go to my beneficiary. But again, looking at this, not looking great. The Muslims are going to crush us if the crusade ever happens. Oh, look! There was a... There was a... Ooh. There was a fleet large enough to carry an enemy army across the channel. 
an army that might do damage. The Dancing, Dancing Plague. Something very strange is happening in the county of Rossello. It all started with one peasant dancing in the streets, but soon there were dozens of them, and now there are hundreds, men, women, and children alike. Musicians are playing joyous tunes all day and all night, and the peasants barely have time to eat or sleep. The dancing has gone on for days, and people have started to collapse from exhaustion. It seems as if the dancing is spreading at an alarming rate, with groups of dancing people setting off in the direction of other towns. Truly unprecedented. I, I believe there is some historic context for this. Something like that was reported to have happened somewhere in the world. Oh, look. Captured someone in our siege. Ah, oh, there's some Hessian troops. Let's start combining our armies. There the fleet comes. Probably sending his whole army out against me. Okay. We're going to face him immediately. Because he will have very low morale. No. Don't do that. Go the quick way. And we will raise our own holding troops down here. It'll be costly, but it'll be very worthwhile. Especially since he's locked into movement, so that thing, he's losing. Well, look who won. Let's stand our troops down. And also our troops on the continent. Good. So now all of this is ours, as it should be. And we can create a new title. The duchy title for this, which we shall. And now we go ahead... And get someone in Norfolk here. He likes me well enough. He gets the county of Norfolk. Which I hope means... Yes, he's a prince bishop. Now he also gets the duchy of East Anglia. So now we have a prince archbishop down here who we can if we want to name the antipope he does have my grandson here as his vassal but that's perfectly fine we don't mind good still we have many many holdings that we don't want so we start creating some vassals around here actually instead of just giving it away we're going to find those of our bloodline that do not hold titles. Even if it's just a bishopric or a city or something, that's already good to keep it in the family. So let's give it all to our bloodline. And we want Great House, my dynasty. And we want ruler, nope. And we want to have men. And we want to have my religion. And we want to find those that don't hate us all that much. And who are somewhat, let's see. Are there some contents there? Yeah, a few. But for now, we're just going to give away titles to our dynasty here. Now we have a commander who's already... Isn't he the... Husband... 
Oh, yes, children. Okay, his son is the... Is the guy who I just gave the barony to. So let's give him a whole county. Including whatever lies beneath. So now we have a new count over there. Let's give some... To other men... Who are... They need to join my court. You are invited to join my court. I should save this filter. Because I never really do that. Why do I not find anyone anymore? Why is it empty all of a sudden? Oh, join court. Right, let's give him a gift. So he joins our court as well. You are already in my court. But you are heir. Some sort of bishopric. Let's unpause real quick so we see things changing. Have a chancellor. Definitely not our rival. Have it be... Our son-in-law, he's in a matrilineal marriage with our daughter. Let's give this man a title as well. He's still not pregnant. I am, I am worried, but let's give him a title. He shall have... Let's create this guy, and he shall have the... Grand Lander title, the County of Wide. Else, do we got let's find her someone from a matrilineal marriage who's halfway good. We'll have to go by age then. No one to be found that has the traits we like in a man. Oh, he's of our dynasty anyway. He's the Earl of Surrey. Don't want that. I feel like I should mix in some other blood here. Kids, the males of our dynasty, can carry on the dynasty completely, perfectly fine. Bring some German blood in here. Sure. Our designated regent is nowhere to be found. Shall be my son-in-law. Oh, now let's take the learned man. The Prince Archbishop. Who is already our court physician. The Keeper of Swans. Court Tutor. Needs to be someone new. Uh, let's have it be her. And... There we go. Is 
there he comes. And he has a son already. So he shall have... Let's give him... This county, it's the weakest of the ones that we got. Let's raise a few people here. You get county of this. And you, my friend, will have the bishopric of Ruthmore. And he will be disqualified from the succession. Oh, well. Shame. Good, and we will keep this one for now. Accomplished quite a bit. Put our family even more on the map with their holdings and everything. We could go for stronger centralization down the road and thusly allow ourselves to have more holdings directly. I don't generally care for it, but it might be interesting to strengthen our position even further. Did our threat go up? Yep, we're above 50% again. So now we wait once more. 